everyone, it's Melinda, and today we're going to be looking at my little collection of bauxite, or bauxite. Um, yeah. <laughs> I only have two, but I have a little bit to say about them. Um, so this is what you might typically see being sold. Very nice. Oh, I just love those circles. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So many people are surprised to learn that bauxite is actually not a mineral. It is a rock composed mainly of aluminum bearing minerals. Uh, it forms when laterite soils are severely leached of silica and other soluble uh, materials in a wet tropical or subtropical climate. Um, and bauxite is the primary ore of aluminum. Almost all of the aluminum that has ever been produced has been extracted from bauxite. Uh, the United States has a few small bauxite deposits, but at least 99% of the bauxite used in the United States is imported. The United States is also a major importer of aluminum metal. So <clears throat> the color of bauxite uh, can be white, gray, sometimes stained yellow, orange, red, pink, or brown by iron or uh, included iron minerals. And having been to Jamaica, I can tell you that it has, uh, in that area anyways, a very typical bright kind of orangey, red, rusty color. Um, <clears throat> and again, that's due to iron kind of iron metals, uh, minerals being present. Um, so bauxite does not have a specific composition. It's a mixture of hydrous aluminum oxides, aluminum hydroxides, clay minerals, and insoluble materials such as quartz, hematite, magnetite, siderite, and joeyite. Um, the aluminum minerals in bauxite can include gibbsite, uh, boemite, uh, and diaspore. So bauxite is typically a soft material, and this is very, very uh, fragile, like I wouldn't put a lot of pressure on it. Um, <clears throat> it has a hardness of only 1 to 3 on the most scale. It is white to gray to reddish brown uh, with a piezolytic structure, and that's those circles that I've been, you know, fawning over, these beautiful circles throughout. See a few back here as well. Nice one there. Some over here. Really, really neat. Very fascinating. Um, <clears throat> and they're also known for their earthy luster, like I said, very, very much. Uh, like an earthy, uh, yellowish orange kind of dusting is quite common with it. Um, so bauxite is found in abundance at many locations around the world. Uh, in 2017, the 10 leading bauxite uh, producing countries were Australia, China, Brazil, India, Guinea, Jamaica, Russia, and Kazakhstan. Um, and each of these countries has enough reserves for many years of continued production. Uh, some have reserves for over 100 years of production. Um, yeah, so they, it's quite plentiful in these areas, and uh, the location that I went to in particular was in Jamaica, where it is a major contributor to their economy. Very, very important to them. That's actually where I got this specimen here. So this one was sold as uh, bauxite in quartz, a local stone, uh, and it was purchased um, in St. Anne Parish in Jamaica, where there is a very, very popular bauxite uh, mine. So yeah, I don't know, it's got that telltale kind of like rusty, dusty stuff included. Um, I certainly believe there's quartz. There's also some sort of black 
material going through it. I don't know if it's like a manganese oxide or just some sort of uh, black mineral included. Um, but I don't know. I suppose I'm okay to believe it. I certainly want to believe it, so I'll accept. Um, <clears throat> but if you're familiar with this material and you're like, oh no, that's not what that is at all, please let me know. Um, I bought it at a gift shop, so it certainly wasn't, you know, uh, a very <laughs> geological type place, so. <laughs> but yeah, either way, I think it's pretty cool. Alright, so, um, <clears throat> bauxite and alumina, uh, which is created from processed bauxite, are the second leading money earners uh, for Jamaica after tourism. Uh, and, you know, we went on quite a few tours where they you know, taught us that fact, so that's very, very interesting. Um, <clears throat> and to give a little recap, uh, again, bauxite is the main ore of aluminum. Uh, it's composed primarily of impure aluminum hydroxides along with a lot of uh, silica, iron, and other impurities. It is usually formed as a weathering product of rocks that are rich uh, in aluminum silicates. Uh, <clears throat> and aluminum is the most widely used metal after iron. Uh, it's used in the manufacture of cars, aircrafts, food packaging, construction, and a vast range of other household objects. And aluminum is usually alloyed with copper, zinc, magnesium, manganese, or silicon to improve its uh, mechanical properties, especially when tempered. Um, yeah, so it's re it's really interesting uh, material, <clears throat> but not a mineral, uh, you know, in its own right. So when you see specimens like this uh, that are labeled bauxite, um, you know, you can have a little bit more of an understanding of what it what it's truly made up of. Yeah, super fascinating. Yeah, so I hope you found that interesting, guys. Um, hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!